Hello everybody, this is Harold with World TV On Demand coming to you again. Okay, today I want to talk a little bit about stock market. I'm going to have some charts over here. And I'm going to show you, you know, in 2008, what the stock market did and what it's doing now. Which if you look at the, the charts, they're going to be identical. You know, and what the stock brokers and what the news media and the stock channels are doing is very unethical. It's called pump and dump. That's when they get on there and they talk up stocks when in reality they know that people are shorting those stocks and those stocks are going to go down. Also, what they're not going to talk about, which I'm not going to go in depth about it, but you can look it up. There's a, a website, <clears throat> and I'll try to find it and put a link at the bottom. And it's stocks that are being delisted for 2015. That means in some point this year, they're going to come off the stock market. So if you have any stock in those companies, that are being delisted from the Dow Jones, NASDAQ, the S&P, whatever, that your money is just gone. And so you need to be aware of companies that are being delisted and checking to see if one of your companies or one of your stocks that you own is one of those companies. If it is, then you need to talk to your stockbroker about what the best solution is for that. But anyway, <clears throat> And another thing that's driving the stock market is the unemployment rate. You know, they're saying that the unemployment rate is 5.1%. Okay. So, when they say 5.1%, what they're talking about is the people that have are working and they have been laid off and are filing for unemployment. So, but they're not talking about the other people, which is 94 million Americans that was working in 2008 that are not working now. And they're not counted in the 5.1% because their unemployment ran out and they have nothing to draw on for unemployment. So now they're not counted. They're just not counted. So let's think about this for a minute now. We have 300 million plus people in the United States. So let's just say half of them are kids that are under the age to hold a job. So now we have 150 million people employed if you take those out. So now, out of 150 million, if you had 94 million that lost their jobs and used up all their unemployment and they're not even counted on the books anymore, so you've got close to 100 million from 150 million, so that only leaves 60 something million, 70 million people that's really working and has jobs. So what unemployment rate do you think that is? <clears throat> if, if you do the right math and not fuzzy math and government math and you count all the people that's out of work, then you're going to be talking about 50% unemployment. And that's right, that's what I said, 50% unemployment. So right now in the United States, we have an average of about 50% unemployment. So when you're looking at the stock market and you're looking at the news and all this and they're talking it up and they're talking about how we're growing 2% and we're, you know, we might be growing, the companies that are making money might be making a 2% profit and a 2% growth. But at the same time, we got more people to have come off unemployment. We've got more population coming into the country. So if you if, if somebody would do the right math, instead of having 2% growth, we probably have a 20% negative 
instead of a 2% growth. Because here again, you got 60, 70 million people working, paying for everything. You got 94 million people unemployed and not on anybody's radar as far as unemployment. Well, they don't want them to be on there because they want you to think everything is rosy and keep piling stuff, piling money into the stock market. And uh, so the rich guys, when it starts tumbling again, they can just sell off and make all the money and the middle class is gonna be left holding the bag again. So don't fall for the pump and the dump on the stock market because that's all it is, pump and dump. So uh, research it, talk to your stock broker and uh, get some financial help from somebody that'll tell you the truth if you can find somebody. And this is Harold with WorldTVOnDemand.com and I'll see you on my next video. Have a good day. Please give me a thumbs up and a like and subscribe to the video. See you later.